of Emergency Management. I'd like to give you an update today on the winter storm warning that's currently in progress. Uh, as you know, it's snowing outside as we had predicted. Uh, we we're in the beginning phases of this snow, snowstorm and have had about uh, one to two inches of accumulation across the state. The National Weather Service is still uh, calling this a winter storm warning throughout the majority of the state. Uh, we have seen a, a downgrade uh, to an alert in the southern and coastal regions of the state, uh, but we still expect more accumulation in those areas as well. Um, and so uh, last night the governor uh, spoke to the people of Rhode Island and advised no traffic if at all possible, only essential traffic. And uh, Most of the state has complied with that. Uh, almost all of the school districts have now canceled school. That has had a significant impact on uh, reducing the amount of traffic on the roadways. Uh, and so that has allowed the Department of Transportation and the state police to do their job uh, and make sure that the roadways are as safe as possible given the snowfall. Uh, we would caution that again we're just in the beginning portions of this winter storm and that we expect more accumulation to take place throughout the day. The storm is moving much faster than uh, earlier anticipated and so the Weather Service is now indicating that we may see a reduction in total accumulation. Uh, but we're still talking about anywhere from two to seven inches overall in the state. And clearly the northwestern part of the state will see the majority of that accumulation. Uh, and so uh, our message today at this point in the snowstorm is again caution. If there is no need to be out and on the roadways, uh, please stay at home. Uh, please delay your travel uh, to see how this snowstorm continues to play out. Uh, the lesser amount of traffic on the major thoroughfares, the safer it will be out there for everyone. So General Ray, is your understanding of the evidence that people are indeed staying home and, and not going out on the roads at this time? Well, that's our early indication. And again, we're watching very closely the, uh, uh, the weather cams on, on, from the Department of uh, Transportation on the roadways. We're also getting spot reports from the state police uh, and reports, initial reports from our various emergency management directors out there. And so while this is now the beginning of what would be the normal rush hour, we are seeing a reduction in traffic and clearly not having school buses on the road uh, and school children and drivers on the road uh, will reduce the amount of risk out there and clearly the traffic that might be congested because of the additional hazard of the snow. So yeah. yes. Could you give us a peek uh, a little bit behind the scenes? Obviously, you were out there last night, late, or six o'clock in the morning when your jury was sworn. Uh, what, what's going on as far as you're putting together a game plan to, to address this, this snow event compared to the, the temperatures? The, the, every one of these weather events is unique. Uh, and of course, uh, this weather uh, event took place on a weekend, beginning on a weekend, uh, and allowed us to preempt the normal rush hour traffic. Uh, and also because of the timing of the snowfall, uh, we're much, much uh, better able to be preemptive in our uh, planning and preparations. Uh, same kind of coordinations going on uh, as we do in any kind of emergency, potential emergency, and that is coordination with our local emergency management directors and also uh, with our state agencies. The lead agencies in this event are Department of Transportation, of course, and the state police. Uh, and so uh, the coordination that we're doing there behind the scenes is ongoing. We have in the Emergency Operations Center liaisons from state police uh, and from the Providence uh, Emergency Management. Uh, and then we are also in contact with the Department of Transportation as well as emergency management directors throughout the state. So we, we've got a pretty good handle on situational awareness across the state, uh, developing a common operating picture so that in the event that uh, situation should change, traffic flow increases, snowfall increases, we'll be able to move resources to critical needs uh, as might be required out there.